is Alea from ToleratedStore.com and today I will be showing you how I have actually created my intro. Well, more specifically, how I've done the text that shifts over each other. This video was requested by many people, so finally, here it is. I will explain you how I have done it. It's actually really simple to create. You just have to know how. So open up After Effects and let's start creating. All right, so let's create a new composition here and I will make this full HD, um, so 1920 by 1080, a frame rate of 30 FPS and then 10 seconds should be fine. Click OK and then I will add one of my texts here. So learn uh, was what uh, my intro said and I will change this to zero. I'm using the font Lado here, uh, maybe 20 um, and I will make it some kind of red color. Okay, make it a little bit bigger. And there I go. And I will align this uh, right. So it doesn't really matter actually. Um, but if we duplicate it, we have to, um, so control D to duplicate your text, uh, have to change it to align left and then position it right over here somewhere. And then I will take my text tool here and change this to filmmaking. And I will change this to a white color. And what I will do now is hit enter and actually above that, um, not sure what I'm all saying. So, uh, learn motion graphics, visual effects, filmmaking, and much more. And there we go. I'll position this a little bit more to the right. And then it's just a uh, question of just pressing P on the keyboard. Um, so then go so to somewhere like, we zoom in here. Let's move 10 frames forward and again 10 frames. So we have 20 frames forward. Then create a keyframe for the position. Move ahead 10 frames and move it up. Like so. Then move ahead one second. So 30 frames here. Uh, so that's three time on page down while holding shift. And then uh, click on the keyframe here. So we make another keyframe, move ahead 10 frames again, and then move it and just hold shift while moving and try to do it visually correct. Um, if you want a guide, you can press R, uh, control R on the keyboard and drag one of these lines here. So it's actually perfect. And you can zoom in and really align it perfectly. So that's uh, how you could do that. Uh, so again, one second, uh, yeah, one second forward, click on the keyframe. 10 frames forward and much more. And now if we'll check this out. So this is currently what we have. We'll actually move these keyframes also and just a little bit forwards like this. So we also have one second at the beginning. Okay. Then I will select my keyframes here, actually all of them, right click Keyframe assistance, easy ease. And then I will open up my graph editor. Right here, we can see it, that it's looking like this. Um, I will actually select all of these and just drag these in and drag also the, these in. So, so we get something like this. And this is just going to speed up um, the animation. So let's see what we have. Maybe this is a little bit too much, but that's completely up to you. So you can actually now um, adjust the time if you want to. If you hold Alt and well, if you select all of your keyframes, hold Alt and click on the last keyframe and you drag out, it's going to get slower or faster. So you can play around with the speed here and then just check it out if you like it. And yeah, uh, then we'll go and toggle the switches here and check on motion blur and also check on motion blur for the composition. Then if it's moving, we have some motion blur, which is going to make it look a little nicer. And apart from that, what I've done is right click new and add a new solid and rename this as mask and check it so you can see it and then hold, uh, choose the rectangle tool here. And we're actually just going to draw a rectangle here around the first, uh, first text here. So actually, uh, to move this a little bit longer here. Um, I think this is the longest text. So try to make it as wide as the longest text. If you make it like this, it doesn't really matter. You know, it's you only need the height of uh, your mask. So if we check it on again, we will see something like this. 
And now we click on our motion, uh, well, on our text actually, and toggle the switches again and change the track mat to um, luma mat or alpha mat, doesn't really matter. But now you're not going to see the other text, so it's going to move like this. And you can see if we're moving here, that it gets cut off very, uh, yeah, very sharp. So you can press F on the keyboard for that mask layer here. Just increase the mask a bit so we uh, get a soft edge here. So maybe 15 should work fine. And then let's preview this. All right, so that's it for this video. If you are looking for templates, presets, pre-made stock footage or music, be sure to check out toleratedstore.com. We offer a great amount in these areas. So, so if you are looking for something related to this, be sure to check out our website. And yeah, apart from that, if you enjoyed this tutorial, give it a like. Also subscribe to the channel for more. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.